Captain Torrance, Flight Commander. How can I help you? Fugitive extradition. Oh, is he dangerous? What did he do? Homicide 15 years ago. I don't want to scare the rest of the passengers. I'm afraid you're stuck with us, Captain. Get him on board. Let's have a good flight. Cutting right through the top of the storm. Doesn't keep everybody in their seats. No exceptions, all right? Jared uh, Butler's new movie is called Plane, about a commercial pilot forced to land his plane when it gets struck by lightning, but the crash is only the beginning of his woes. Jared Butler joins us live this morning. Hello there, my friend. How are you? There he is. Good, Dean. How are you doing? Very nice. Very nice to see you. So I've been interviewing you for I don't know how many years, only to discover this morning I have been pronouncing your name incorrectly this whole time. I was corrected today, and I believe I said it correctly this time. Jared, not Gerard, right? Well, they, well they, you're, that means you're having to pronounce my name in a Scottish accent, like my mum. Jared. Uh, but in America, they say Gerard. Jared so I'm not, I'm, yeah. I would, I would spend my life going, no, no, stop it. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. You're right. So you, you have very patiently uh, suffered all of us idiots saying your name uh, in, incorrectly this whole time. No, hey, I, I appreciate the attempt. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so congrats on uh, this new movie. You know what? Just just a whole bunch of fun. We've, we've just come out of this season of all the so-called Oscar movies that are three hours long, difficult to understand, very esoteric, and along you come with this movie. Yeah. That's just, it, it's nothing but fun. The whole thing's nothing but fun. Uh, yeah, I, I've actually been, we've been getting some great reviews and I've been uh, reading these articles saying that January was often considered a dumping ground, but it's become the opposite. Um, and, and because there's, you know, Megan just came out and they're talking about this movie that actually are super fun, entertaining movies. It's complete counter-programming. Um, I hope it would work whenever we released it, but it is, it's, it's a ride and it's a chance for people to escape from that esoteric, you know, uh, difficult to understand <laughs> these ideas. But <laughs> It's um, I'm I'm super proud of it, you know, just having sat now with a few audiences and watching them jumping out their seats and gripping on to the end. And the other night we had a premiere and the party afterwards, people were so wired because it really, you know, from start to finish, it, it has you going and for, for a whole bunch of different reasons. When you first got into this business and a, and a director said, we'd love you for the part, but you you got to lose the Scottish accent for the role. How did that go? How was your your transition? Um, so, yeah, I didn't even get as far as saying get a role. They would actually say to me, just meeting casting directors, you know, oh, I love your accent. It's beautiful. Now, can you lose it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Um, but, but it, it, and, and I had to... I had to make a, a big decision was, am I really going to go for this? Because I could, I started doing dialect sessions every day and then recording them and putting them on in my car and walking around speaking like, uh, speaking like an American, even, even though, you know, most people that I knew said, that's the worst accent I've ever heard. They said, it doesn't matter. I have to learn to think, breathe, you know, and it, it slowly got better and better, but it was more about living and sighing and just feeling that that, that 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 accent rather than because as an actor you often learn to pronounce things perfectly and you start talking like this and you're giving a, a but your performance is awful you know right. so it's learning to be able to throw it away but i have to say in plain it was good to be able to do scottish for, for yeah. a second i wonder how we sound to you i mean i'm told i have a bit of a chicago accent are you are you studying a boston accent chicago when you're trying to pick it up there's a there's there's something that's classified as a general American accent, and it's actually probably most from the Midwest. Yeah. Um, I think even maybe I could be wrong. 
I remember somebody saying Indiana. Um, so so you avoid the. Uh, it, it, it's funny how <laughs> yeah. dialect coaches explain it to you because it was explained to me that because Chicago was so windy, they don't like opening their mouth, so they go and eh, rather than yeah. Uh, that's the first. Uh, I've never heard okay. that. Before. That's a way for the Chicago to know. It's, uh, oh, it's good. So so uh, so Gary Salis, you know. Yeah. 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 Don't open my mouth. Yeah, my don't, teeth are don't question Salis. <laughs> so you know, I'm I'm just wondering. If, is you do these movies. So one of my favorites is uh, 300. There's been the Has Fallen uh, franchise. Are, are you concerned about getting hurt uh, doing all these physical roles? Uh, <laughs> you're asking me that 20 years down the line. It's too late for that. I, I've been hurt. I, 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 I couldn't even count how many times I get hurt doing this movie and sometimes quite badly hurt, but mostly just a bit hurt. Like I got hurt in, in this movie a bunch and, and, and um, it's weird, but quite often that's part of your, your, your kind of badge of honor you, and, and it often gets you into to the role. You know, when you're like cut up and bruised and you're limping, because pretty much I rarely play characters who don't end up um, limping off the set mm -hmm. yeah. or limping I, out of the, the final sequence. Did I hear that you, you you accidentally rubbed acid on your face while while you were making this movie? Yeah, that's, that's the difference between uh, uh, Gerard Butler, the... Um, person and Jared Butler, the action hero, because the person is actually quite a klutz. But um, I had my hand in the wheel. I was supposed to be fixing a break on, on the plane, and I kept cutting my hands every time I put it in there, because in truth, I didn't really know what I was fixing. I was just saying my, my hands plunged in there, and I was getting cut. Uh, I, and so I, every time I came out, my hands were covered in blood, but they were also covered in this green substance. Oh. And I kept because I was sweating so much. I was rubbing my oh. face, my eyes oh. not thinking about it. And I guess I must have put my fingers up my nose at some point. Because suddenly <laughs> there was burning going right up into my brain, oh. down into my throat, yeah. in my eyes. And it's scary. And the yeah. pilots start freaking out because they're like, that's hydraulic fluid. Oh. That's phosphoric acid. Don't even put water on that. That's going to oh. make it worse. So <laughs> the rest of the day, I'm like, you know, that speech that I made, get yeah. on the plane. You know, there that you was go. just before and afterwards, everything else, I literally was like. And that is the glamour of show business, yeah. everyone. Jetted Butler, very nice to talk to you again, <laughs> my friend. Plane is in theaters right now. Look forward to seeing you in person soon. Thanks, pal. All right.